So Farage last night said when he was asked, you know, if you had an influence over what happened in government in the next term, you know, what would you do? And he said that he would cut the deficit. He, he said further, he said he would stop wasteful spending. He said he'd probably cut tax for the lower paid. Um, so that's already happening. Then the Conservatives are going to have an in-out EU referendum. So what does UKIP bring that's different to what's already there? Well, we've heard that before, haven't we? Uh, David Cameron pr promised a, a referendum after the Lisbon Treaty. It was a cast iron promise. It never materialised. We don't trust him again for this one. We believe the only way to get a better deal with the EU group of countries is to leave the EU. And I think that's the only way that we can negotiate a better deal, cut down our deficit. We, we can control how much foreign aid we give. Uh, the amount that we give to the EU is billions every year. And I think that it's best place to spend it on our, on our own people. But some would say that leaving the EU is a bad idea and that there will be severe economic ramifications. For those who say that, what would your argument be? Not at all. Do you think that Germany, uh, its biggest market is Britain? Would it jeopardise that, uh, that relationship by introducing tariffs or, or doing anything negative? Not at all. Um, and the rest of uh, Europe exports a lot more uh, than us exporting to them. So I think that trade will continue uh, and uh, g continue to gain momentum. And clamping down on immigration, uh, how do you think that helps small and medium-sized businesses, which you represent for the UKIP party? Uh, what we say is having a more ethical policy on immigration, a points-based system where, whereby we identify the skills that we require, we welcome those people to come, we don't have uh, a, a, an uncontrolled mass immigration which uh, suppresses uh, jobs, which gets rid of jobs and suppresses pay, so, and we can then uh, bring people that we require, whether it's from the Commonwealth, whether it's from India, Canada, etc. We as a country decide how much immigration to have, what type of people to, to allow into our country.